and welcome to your Go Market update for today, the 2nd of September 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to take you through what's happening in the markets now and later on today. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news. Of course, overnight we saw US markets close slightly higher, at least on the down, the S&P 500, breaking a four-day series of losses after really a miserable week across markets generally. The Nasdaq still lagged with semiconductors dragging the index down following Thursday's decision to restrict exports of chips to China. Uh, that major impact of that was seen obviously on Thursday night, but we saw a follow through on yesterday's trading. US futures are pausing near neutral in early Asian trading. Asian indices are mixed. The US dollar index was strong yesterday, broke 20 year highs, uh, but it's paused in Asia today prior to tonight's jobs data. The FX market looks pretty flat at this stage, very little movement at all. It may be when some data comes out of Europe this afternoon, of course, uh, all hell may break loose when that non-farm payrolls figure is announced later. Commodities dropped again, really. We saw gold dropping to 1700, testing a six week low. Oil tests and hold mid-August lows and copper's nearing that monthly low at 340. The VIX did pause near that 25 level and the 200 EMA on that slight equity strength last night. A Bitcoin has remained flat all week around that 20,000 level. If we look at what's coming out today, as we suggested, we've got some data out of Europe this afternoon with the German trade balance and Euro PPI later before tonight's big monthly US jobs report, i.e. the non-farm payrolls. Let's just look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning. On the ASX, we actually quite like Webjet at this stage. You can see there's a key level here around about 553. It's had two attempts to break through this over the last couple of days since it's broken through that 200 EMA. That was on the back of some good earnings a couple of days ago. Uh, you can see today we're having another go at it. Uh, we did move slightly lower, but we're pushing off the lows right now and are actually in slight positive territory. Worthwhile being patient for this one. Uh, could be one for next week, but worthwhile having a look at how this moves into the close today, perhaps. So check out this in the last hour. A break through this level could be interesting and pushes up towards perhaps this 580 level, which would be a very respectable 4.5% move to the upside. As we said, the FX market is looking pretty flat at this stage, but we may see some movement later. The GB pound Aussie looks interesting. You can see it's been trading in this short term range all week between around 169.33 and 170.30, so around about 100 pip range. If we break through that, there could be a sharp move to the upside, plenty of upside there. So that could be one to watch. If we look at the hourly chart, you can see there it's had a few attempts over the last few days to break this level, but maybe just to make it that higher probability trade, you can see after those few attempts right at the start of the week, maybe delaying until a 170.40 price point is reached before considering a long entry. Could even for short term scalping traders be an opportunity if it breaks below 170 to trade it down towards this sort of 169.50 level also. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.